I think he's digging his new digger. It's been raining so much we haven't had time to play. I mean work. He's getting the hang of it. Oh, to be 11 and have a mini excavator at your disposal. How dangerous could that be? Engineer 775 here down at the pond. It's covered with pollen at this time of year. And there's some uh, some cool geese down here. Where are you? There you are. Just nesting out, hanging out. Anyway, Elijah, I think, has got the most fun out of this pond than anybody. Him and his buddy are always down here fishing. And uh, so we wanted to do something. You see the grass carp, Elijah? Yeah. Yeah, there's, I see the one over here to the left. Saw some catfish today, grass carp, geese, tons of frogs. And uh, so this pond has been awesome. We've had it in since 1998, no, 97, I think. So it's been in here quite a long time. Gonna work on doing some aeration, I hope, this year with solar. But what I wanted to do, Elijah and I wanted to build a pond in another place on the property. And in order to do that, we wanted to use this source of water to be... Um, the power to or the potential energy to deliver water to the other pond site and what we're using of course is our hydraulic ram pump you've seen it on several videos I've got my four-part series on ram pumps and uh, how they work and how to calculate what you need so this baby's been in there she's just a uh, pumping away she's been running since 1998 and um, I think one of these days I will do the double acting ram but I'm going to say that for another video because right now the ram is very busy and being very functional and it's creating another pond and we're going to show you that site and what we did uh, to make another pond and eventually we'll catch some fish out of our pond and put them in that pond but right now this ram is filling the pond that's about 800 feet away maybe 900 and about 100 feet above this ram thousand oh Elijah thinks it's a thousand feet away so this is the pond that the ram built well Elijah and the ram built and Elijah used the mini excavator for hours to dig some dirt out we used the dirt for our new building to protect the our equipment and we said well why don't we just build a pond a small pond it's not much of a pond but it's a, a proof of concept that you can have a pond wherever you want it if you have a stream or a flowing water source with some falling water and a hydraulic ram pump uh, you could do it with a solar pump too we could divert our solar overflow into it and I might still do that but for now I'm using a ram pump to fill a pond on the hill let's go look at it okay here we are at the pond Elijah's pond and um, it's starting to fill up pretty nicely this is what the ram pump output is like just letting it go slow and steady 24 7 um, Elijah can't help himself but get down in the mud uh, so the white pipe is the ram pump the black pipe we ended up plumbing from the overflow from our rain collection system off of the roof of the shop so while we were burying a pipe we buried two and so it's just filling up I know the ground's gonna absorb a lot of water here there's also another purpose for this if um, this is a south facing slope and just kind of saturating the ground above it once you break through those trees there you get a really nice um, slope to grow food on so this is a great way to just kind of saturate the ground and have it uh, grow, grow lots of food but in the meantime this was a place where I dug out a lot of red clay so that I could build my shop so we killing two birds here we're uh, created a platform for the the new shop and we made Elijah's pond and in Elijah's pond we're gonna move some of the fish from the lower pond so this is pretty wooded in here and you can see that some of the, the leaves are starting to come out 
So this is going to be nicely shaded and fairly deep. It's you know six, seven, eight foot deep at the deepest part. So we're going to see how the fish do in here. What? What are you thinking? Closer to nine, he says. Well, we'll see. We'll see if it actually fills up without the ground just taking all of it. So between the Mini X and the tractor cleaning up here, we made a little little pond in the woods, and I think it's gonna the canopy is gonna close up real nice here, so it'll be pretty cool, and we won't lose much to evaporation, which a lot of people don't take into account when they dig a pond is how much water is lost to evaporation. So this should do pretty well. So it's another use for a ramp pump. If you want to build a pond, have a pond up at somewhere else and, or put it in a unique place or make a fountain or a whatever, a, feet, a water feature at your house, you can use your falling water to do that. It takes some time, but once she's full, we'll be fine. We'll have to clean this out. We've got a lot of floating stuff, don't we? Oh, yeah. With a lot of leaves and debris, we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll need to get that out. So, see how steady a ram pump can pump. And that's 24-7. And mine's been running for 20 years. About, uh, 1, gallons yeah, about 21 years this pump has been pumping like this. So, a lot of fun. Anyway, kid's pretty happy. It's pretty cool to see the overflow from the barn. It's really raining, dumping. We haven't had a lot of rain since I did this. Awesome. So. We're going to get some rain tomorrow, so it'll, that'll help. And um, we can also divert the overflow, Elijah. We've got an overflow pipe from um, my tank up there. I could tie into that. Mm, that's, a, that's a thought. So I could fill this with solar, with the ram, and with rain. And that would be a way to keep it nice and fresh. Okay, kid. Good job on the digging and learning the excavator and, and uh, starting a new pond project. And uh, this is Engineer 775 signing out from the woods.